My uh, philosophy in education is, uh, is around creativity really. It's around creative teaching uh, and creative learning. Our five-year-olds. I think we can learn a lot from our five-year-olds to be honest. Dave was saying this morning about a, a classroom, asking a classroom of five-year-olds a question and you get every single hand up, don't you? So we know they're incredibly brave. They're also curious. They ask great questions, great questions. And they are creative thinkers. If it was up to me, I'd have five-year-olds ruling the world. Because I think they do a brilliant job. A brilliant job. And it's kind of our job, really, to just nurture and protect that creative thinking so that they're still creative thinkers when they're adults. The angle that I take um, when, working with, uh, when working with staff is, uh, is to do with kind of subversive creativity really. Uh, so certainly in the, in the current context really of, a, of the, uh, the knowledge driven draft curriculums that we're kind of starting to see coming through, um, the, the creativity and the, the questioning curiosity uh, is kind of really lacking. Uh, and unless we are kind of we are sneaking in almost by the back door, um, then we're really going to be struggling. Our kids are not going to be prepared for life in the 21st century. I come up with the idea of uh, like guerrilla teaching in terms of the subversive uh, nature of kind of sneaking in some creativity. Um, uh, and part of that is to do with uh, vagueness and embracing a bit of vagueness. Uh, again, with uh, the curriculum that we've got, it's, it's very kind of down the line and uh, children will be taught too. Uh, whereas actually, uh, sometimes if you take a step back and go from a much vaguer starting point, you can open up an awful lot more opportunities for children. I think there's something missing there and it's quite a big miss really. Um, there's, there's nothing really there about, about asking questions or, or about being curious um, and that's a big miss. It is a big miss. I've got three quotes here uh, from uh, famous scientists. I'm going to show you them now. Does anybody recognize any of those quotes? Second one I love. I love the second quote. I have no special talent. I'm only passionately curious. It's Einstein. Einstein, I think it's fantastic. The bottom one, what would happen if? That's my five-year-old daughter, Imogen. She's a scientist. You can spend your life talking about theory and vision and stuff like that, and it's got its place definitely. But I would really want teachers to go away with practical things that they can do. Um, so one of the things that I work with teachers on is developing a, a creative teaching toolkit, uh, which kind of looks into uh, how we can engage and motivate our pupils. But then also building, and this, kind of this is the more difficult one, building a creative learning toolkit, uh, which is the harder stuff because then you kind of you're passing over that responsibility to the children, uh, and that's a much tougher thing to do. We find that the children that uh, that I teach, certainly the 10 and 11 year olds uh, already you're kind of they get into the point where they're, they're devoid of questions they don't ask questions anymore uh, they will answer them um, as long as they think they're giving the answer that's in my head um, but other than that they kind of they're not asking those questions anymore um, my five-year-old daughter asks questions incessantly all of the time um, and that's what kind of I'm interested in recapturing really developing in those older children some of that creative some of that um, curiosity that they've lost really